That's a big long re- laundry list. And we know the state of Congress, uh, it's going to be even more challenging with the new Congress being so split down the middle, so margins. Do you really think any of that's going to get done? In particular, the long-term care, you know, as part of Obamacare, or the um, uh, they had a provision in there for long-term care coverage, which was just decimated. I mean, think about that if we had that before the pandemic. Is there any hope that any of that will get through to this Congress that is so divided? You know, I asked about five people in preparation for this, um, for our interview, and asked that same question to experts in the field. And I was reminded by very eminent sociologists, look at 20 years ago, this would not even been a major demand. You know, the idea that women, that women are doing necessary care work for free it's necessary for the economy and that all families sons too are going to be faced with the long-term care needs of their parents is now a national conversation so in a short in short the answer is yes there's lots of hope because the need is affecting tens of millions more people um back in the day when we first talked about it there were probably 10 million fewer people who are reaching those um those ages of uh, vulnerability. So just the sheer size of the um, boomers, you know, coming into their needy years and the generation behind them being more educated, um, this is going to be a demand. Just like Social Security was obvious, this is totally obvious. 